Hey guys, recently you viewed a video that reviewed things you should already know about maps in general. This video will focus on one type of map, a topographic map, which looks something like this. Now what exactly is a topographic map? Well, it's a map that describes the physical features of an area, especially the elevation. We mostly use these types of maps when looking at mountains or craters. A topographic map takes a 3D landform and flattens it so you can look at it from a bird's eye point of view. Let's look at this particular topographic map of Mount St. Helens, which is found in Oregon. If you look, I have all these black lines that kind of form weird looking circles. These are called contour lines. A contour line tells us what the elevation is at a particular point on the map. The line that is outlined in red has an elevation of 1,250 feet. The line that is outlined in blue has an elevation of 1,500 feet, and so on and so forth. With topographic maps, we also have something called contour intervals. A contour interval is the difference in elevation from one contour line to the next. In this example here, they give you two elevations, 700 feet and 800 feet. But I have lines in between those two elevations without numbers. So if I want to figure out what those points are and what those elevations are, I need to find the contour interval. In order to do that, I'm going to take the two elevations that they give me, 800 and 700, and I'm going to subtract them, which gives me 100. I then need to count how many contour lines are in between those two elevations. So in this example, I have one, two, three, four, and five contour lines. So I'll take the 100 that I get when I subtract the two numbers and divide it by five, which gives me 20 feet. So the contour interval for this particular map is 20 feet. I can then use this contour interval to figure out what those other elevations are on the lines they don't give us. So what I do is I just take the previous elevation and add the contour interval. So this example right here, the line that's outlined in red, is 720 feet. Because 700 plus the 20 gives me 720. The next line that's outlined in green has an elevation of 740 feet and I can keep going until I get up to 800. Sometimes we are lucky enough to where the map gives us what the contour interval is in the key of the map, but sometimes we're not, so we have to know how to find that contour interval. One thing we can create from a topographic map is the profile of the mountain. A profile is the same thing as the side view. What you need is a topographic map and a graph with an X and Y axis like this one right here. Your Y axis will represent the elevation. First, you need to draw a line through the middle of the map, which has already been done for us right here. Now we are going to go to where all the contour lines meet that middle line and we're going to plot those elevations on my X and Y graph. So for example, right here I have a line at 50 elevation and so I'm going to bring, draw a straight line down and graph that point at 50. Then I'm going to go back up to 60 and come straight down and graph a point at 60. And I'm going to keep doing this at all the lines that meet that middle line. If you need to, you may pause the video while you do this on your paper. So I get up to 80 and it looks like this particular mountain's coming back down and it just has the highest elevation of 80. Then I will hit 60, 60 again. It looks like now it's going to descend back up because now I'm at 70 and 80, 90, 100, again, 
It looks like this particular mountain has a maximum elevation of 100 meters because now it's starting to descend. Once you're done connect, uh, drawing all the dots, you can now connect them to see what the mountain looks like. Once I am done creating the profile of the mountain, I can look at the profile and determine a couple of different things. I can determine how steep or how gentle an incline is, and I can deter determine how tall the elevation is. Let's look at how steep or how gentle an incline is. If I look right here, my line goes pretty straight up. So I can say that this side of the mountain has a steep incline. But if I look at this side of the mountain, it has a more gentler incline because it doesn't go as straight up. In order to determine that on a topographic map without making the profile, I can look at the contour lines. If I look at the contour lines right here, they're pretty close together. So that means I'm going to be going at a steeper incline. If I come and look at the contour lines here, they're pretty far, far apart. So I can say that this side of the mountain has a gentler incline or not a steep incline. I can also look at the profile and see that this mountain hits about 80 meters as its top elevation. And that this mountain hits about 100 meters at its top elevation. And if I look at the topographic map, if I look right here, this is, it hits 80 here and then hits 80 again. So I know that it's not going to go up to 90 and that it's going to start to descend. Same thing right here. It hits 100 twice without going to the next elevation. Let's look at another example and see if we can interpret it. The first thing I want to do is look at the contour lines to see if I can figure out the contour interval. Well, this line right here has an elevation of 100, and this line right here has an elevation of 200. Now, if you remember back earlier in the video, in order to find the contour interval, I needed to subtract my two numbers. So in this case, 200 minus 100 gives me 100. Then I needed to count how many contour lines were in between the two elevations that they give me. So for this one, I have one, two, three, four, five lines again. So I'm going to take 100 divided by 5, which gives me 20. So the contour interval is 20 feet. Now I want to determine where the mountain is the steepest and where it is not so steep. If you look right here at the red circle, my contour lines are really close together. So I know that that part of the mountain is going to be really steep. If I look here at the green circle, okay, my contour lines are more spread apart, so I know that the mountain is not going to have as steep of a of a slope or an incline. It's going to be more gentle. Now sometimes you will be asked at what elevation certain points are. Let's look at the same map. I already know that the contour interval is 20 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and label each line with their correct elevation. The line below 100 is going to be 80 feet, and the line above 100 is going to be 120 feet and I'm going to continue labeling all my contour lines until I have no more to label. Now, let's say that there is a hiker at point A, and I want to know what elevation he is at. Well, if you look, he's not exactly on a line, and I know that he's in between 260 and 280. So I could guess and say that he is about halfway which is about 270. But to write it correctly, we would say that hiker A is in between 260 and 280.
Let's look at hiker B. Again, he's not on a specific elevation line, but he is in between two numbers. What two elevations is he in between? Good, he's in between 60 and in between 80. So we could say that he is, that 60 is less than B, which is less than 80. One last thing that a topographic map can tell us is which way the water is running. Water always runs downhill. So how can we tell which way is downhill by looking at a map? We first have to again, of course, look at our contour lines. Here's a river right here. If we look right here, I have an elevation of 2,100 feet. And here is an elevation of 2,000 feet. In order for a river to run downhill, the elevation has to decrease. So if I'm going from 2,100 to 2,000, the river is running this way. Now, most of the time, I need to know what direction that is. So in order to give it a direction, I have to look at a compass and determine which direction it is going by the, which way the arrow is going. So if I look here, if I'm going from this point the, to this point, the river is running about northwest direction. Let's practice finding the river direction in this topographic map. Here is my river, and I made it a darker blue so that you could see it. I have an elevation here of 5,000 feet. and an elevation here of about 3,400 feet. Remember that the rivers flow downhill, so I have to go from higher elevation to lower elevation. And if I look at a compass, it is going, this river is flowing in the direction of the south. So in this video, you learned what a topographic map was and how to interpret it by looking at several different things. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of these types of maps. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask your teacher. If you are ready, go ahead and grab the next activity and practice interpreting topographic maps.